Welcome to the Seawolf Spotlight. I'm Ron Tina McCann, joined by Jason Brandeis and Marnie Rivera from the Justice Center. And tell us about your programs. I'm gonna let Marnie discuss the programs right off the bat, and then I'll fill in with some details. Great, well, uh, the Justice Center has been around for quite a bit of time, since 1975, and we do extensive um, work in justice-related areas as far as education, and all of this is in pursuit of our vision of leading Alaska toward a safer, healthier, and more just society. And to do that, we have several different tracks within the Justice Center. There's a research track where we produce publications that are used by justice and legal agencies across the state. And then we have several different academic programs which are available for students uh, with a wide variety of interests in law and criminal justice topics. And how are you guys involved in campus life, not just out in the community and in, I guess you would say, real life issues and social justice issues and justice issues, but how do you help the students maybe learn in, in a mock setting or in their campus setting? Well, our programs have several different experiential components. We have a variety of internship programs, both on the justice and legal study side. And I can just tell you on the, on the legal side of things, we have students that do internships with private law firms, uh, nonprofit agencies, and various different courts. And Marnie can probably tell you a little bit more about some of the more criminal justice focused internship opportunities. Sure, and in addition to internship opportunities, we do have some of those classroom based opportunities for students to apply what they learn in the classroom to the real world. So we do have um, mock trial type activities in our, our classes. Um, and some classes will focus on s service learning and students go out in the community and work with various agencies and organizations to really apply what they've learned in the classroom to the social problems that we experience every day in Alaska. And you know, the Justice Center also has, a, we're pretty actively involved in, in campus life. So in addition to those experiential opportunities for students, we do a lot of academic advising, uh, both on just helping students achieve their academic goals here at UAA and then further uh, planning for further graduate study and career planning as well. And how are your students involved on campus? That's a, that's a great example, but what else do you guys do? Maybe is there a program this spring or during the school year that they're a part of campus life extracurricularly? Yeah, well, we have a couple of different student clubs. There's the Justice Club and the Pre-Law Society. So students are involved in those and they plan a number of different opportunity, a number of different activities. We bring speakers to campus. We're involved in something every March called National Criminal Justice Month where students help plan and organize uh, educational outreach opportunities. And how do, do you guys in the program prepare students who maybe want to go on to law school outside of Alaska? Is there a connection with a particular university or do you guys help lead them a certain direction? We have uh, several uh, con connections with a few different law schools that allow students to do an accelerated program where you can complete your undergraduate education at UAA and then complete your law school degree in a shorter time period than is traditionally available. And what about programs as far as, you know, you mentioned the mock, tr the mock trials <laughs> and the things like that and, and the criminal justice side. Are they getting involved with law enforcement agencies as well here in the state? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, more recently, we're seeing uh, more hiring going on even at the local level. So our students who graduate are prepared for a number of different uh, career options in each of the sectors of the criminal justice system, police, courts, and corrections, and then at all levels of government from city to state and federal opportunities. And we'll start with you, Marnie. What's your favorite thing about being a Seawolf? My favorite thing about Seawolf? Being a Seawolf. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> we'll go to Jason. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite thing about being a Seawolf is the strong sense of community that exists here on campus. And I think that's what Marnie would have said too if she had a little bit more time to prepare for that answer. <laughs> Do you want to answer? <laughs> I'm really tempted to do the howl, but I'm trying to control my enthusiasm. You need to do it. Marnie, what's your favorite thing about being a sea wolf? Ow! <laughs> we got to end with that. Thanks for joining us here on the Sea Wolf Spotlight. We're going to be back with more on the GCI channel.